Hello today's video we have the following content. After Bruce Lee's death, his wife married his apprentice, his son died in an accident, and what's the current situation of his four-year-old daughter? Please extend your fingers of wealth, like it forever, and you will be rich forever. Pay attention, like it and go, it's hard not to get rich. In July 1973, a shocking news spread all over the country, Kung Fu superstar Bruce Lee unfortunately passed away at the age of 32. This legendary figure who brought Chinese martial arts to the world stage suddenly ended when his career was at its peak. Bruce Lee's death is not only a major loss to the entertainment industry, but also the starting point of a family tragedy. His wife Linda re-entered the marriage after a long period of widowhood, but was betrayed. Brandon Lee, the son who inherited his father's will, died unexpectedly when his career was booming. And his four-year-old daughter Shannon Lee grew up under the halo of her father, but is now caught in a lot of controversy. Nearly half a century has passed, and Bruce Lee has been dead for a long time, but what kind of ups and downs has this once glorious martial arts family experienced? Now, let us unveil the mystery of this legendary family and explore their little-known life journey. In November 1940, a life destined to be extraordinary was born in San Francisco, USA. The baby was named Bruce Lee. Although he was born in a foreign country, he had a deep attachment to Chinese culture since childhood. Under the strict requirements of his father, Bruce Lee, who was only seven years old, began to learn Tai Chi. From then on, martial arts had an indissoluble bond with him. In 1949, the young Bruce Lee went to Hong Kong by chance. At that time, the Hong Kong film industry was in its golden age of booming development. With his unique temperament and talent, Bruce Lee quickly entered the entertainment industry. In the early works of the future superstar such as Little Chung, the beginning of Man in the Sea of People, we can see his immature figure. However, perhaps you don't know that Bruce Lee's fate with movies began as early as when he was three months old. He made his debut in the classic film Golden Gate Woman. 1954 was a turning point for Bruce Lee. This year, he formally became a disciple of the famous martial arts master Ip Man and began to systematically learn Wing Chun. In addition to Wing Chun, Bruce Lee also extensively studied a variety of boxing techniques such as Mantis Boxing, Shao in Boxing and Hungar, laying a solid foundation for his later creation of Jeet Kune Do. However, fate seemed to have been predetermined. Ip Man once predicted that Bruce Lee would be a short-lived person because of his flat feet. This prediction seemed to cast a shadow on Bruce Lee's life. In 1959, young Bruce Lee returned to the United States for further studies. Although he was in a foreign country, he still did not forget martial arts, but actively carried it forward. In 1965, he graduated from the University of Washington with excellent academic performance, and won the favor of Hollywood for his outstanding performance in Charlie Chan's eldest son, thus starting his legendary acting career. In Hollywood, Bruce Lee quickly attracted widespread attention with his outstanding martial arts skills and unique oriental charm, and became a highly anticipated new star. He is not only the first Chinese male protagonist in China, but also a pioneer in the global promotion of Chinese Kung Fu. Representative works such as Way of the Dragon, Fist of Fury and Enter the Dragon have not only repeatedly broken the box office records of Asian films, but also profoundly influenced several generations and brought Chinese martial arts to the world stage. Bruce Lee once wrote an impassioned oath on a note, My goal is to become the most profitable and most watched super oriental superstar in the United States. He did not only achieve this goal, but even surpassed it and became a symbol of a certain era. However, just when Bruce Lee's career was booming, fate played a cruel joke on him like a prank. In July 1973, the Kung Fu superstar suddenly fainted at the home of Hong Kong movie star Ding Pei. Despite emergency rescue, he unfortunately died at the age of only 32. His sudden death shocked the entire entertainment industry and brought irreparable pain to his family. Bruce Lee's legendary career came to a heartbreaking end. Linda and Bruce Lee's encounter can be called a wonderful campus love. In 1963, they met at the University of Washington and soon fell into the abyss of love. Their relationship developed rapidly, and just one year later, they walked into the palace of marriage hand in hand. Linda fell deeply in love with this charming oriental man and gave birth to two children for him, Brandon Lee and Shannon Lee. In that era, Linda seemed to have a happy life that many people dreamed of. However, fate is often unpredictable. In 1973, Bruce Lee's sudden death was like a bolt from the blue, and Linda's originally happy life was shattered in an instant. At her husband's funeral, Linda wore white morning clothes and burst into tears, 
which moved everyone present. She lost her beloved and had to bear the burden of life alone, working hard to raise two young children and survived the most difficult time in her life. During those difficult years, Bruce Lee's close friend and disciple Tom gave Linda selfless care and support. Linda spent a long 15 years of widowhood until she finally decided to take a new step in life and walked into the palace of marriage with Tom. However, this marriage brought Linda unexpected harm. Tom was not really in love with Linda, but had other plans. What he really wanted was to dig out more secrets about Bruce Lee. As a writer, Tom seized this opportunity and wrote many books about Bruce Lee, which made him famous. However, when he achieved his goal, he abandoned Linda without hesitation, leaving her alone to bear the pain brought by the failure of her second marriage. This betrayal made Linda suffer and forced her to face the cruelty of life again. However, life always has a turnaround. In 1991, after two failed marriages, Linda met her true love, stockbroker Bruce. This time, Linda finally found the long-lost peace and happiness. This marriage gave Linda some comfort, which rekindled her hope for life after experiencing the pain of losing her husband and the betrayal of marriage. Looking back on Linda's life journey, we can see the courage of a resolute woman in the face of life's difficulties. From Bruce Lee's wife, to a lonely widow, to a betrayed wife, and finally regaining happiness, Linda's experience can be described as ups and downs. Her story conveys a message to us, even if life brings heavy blows, as long as there is hope, happiness will eventually come again. The name Brandon Lee carries the aura and expectations of his father. He has shown talent and charm similar to Bruce Lee since he was a child. He inherited his father's martial arts talent and aspired to become a world-famous martial arts movie star. In Hollywood, Brandon Lee gradually showed his edge, as if he was going to continue Bruce Lee's legend. However, fate once again cruelly teased the Lee family. On March 31, 1993, just when Brandon Lee's star was bright, an accident completely changed everything. During the filming of the movie The Crow in Vancouver, a real bullet was accidentally fired from the prop gun, and Brandon Lee, who was only 28 years old, died unfortunately. This bizarre accident shocked the whole Hollywood. The way Brandon Lee died was surprisingly similar to that of his father Bruce Lee. Both of them suddenly passed away at the peak of their careers, and they were the same age, which was closely related to the filming of the movie. This coincidence has triggered countless speculations and conspiracy theories, and the truth of the incident remains a mystery to this day. For the Lee family, the death of Brandon Lee is undoubtedly a double whammy. For Linda, this is another heavy blow after the death of her husband. The pain in her heart can be imagined after losing her son. The unexpected death of Brandon Lee seems to be another ruthless blow to the Lee family. This talented and full of potential young man died before he could fully show his brilliance, leaving countless regrets and unsolved mysteries. His death is not only a huge loss for the Lee family, but also a great regret for the entire entertainment industry. People can't help but start to wonder, if Brandon Lee is still alive, would he become another kung fu superstar? Can he surpass his father's achievements? However, these questions will never be answered, and can only become regrets and speculations in people's hearts. In 1973, when the Kung Fu superstar Bruce Lee died, his youngest daughter Shannon Lee was only four years old. Shannon Lee's memory of this legendary father can only be pieced together through movie clips and family memories. However, as Bruce Lee's daughter, she has been under great expectations and pressure since she was a child and these invisible burdens have profoundly affected her growth path. With everyone's expectations, Shannon Lee chose to study drama and learn martial arts under the guidance of her father's friend. Everyone expected her to inherit her father's mantle and show her talent in the entertainment industry. With respect for her father and a vision for the future, Shannon Lee entered the entertainment industry and starred in works such as Bruce Lee's biography, Courage and Blade Runner. However, it is not easy to become a superstar like her father. Shannon Lee's performance on the screen did not live up to expectations, and she was always compared with her father, which brought her great psychological pressure. Shannon Lee was deeply troubled by the gap between audience expectations and reality. Shannon Lee finally made a difficult decision. She chose to quit the front of the screen and move to work behind the scenes. However, this decision did not quell the controversy. On the contrary, she caused more doubts because of some remarks about her father's identity. When she claimed that Bruce Lee was an American, many people were dissatisfied with it, thinking that she violated the Chinese identity that Bruce Lee had always emphasized. This kind of speech plunged Shannon Lee into a storm of public opinion. 
As time went on, Shannon Lee gradually shifted her focus to managing and protecting her father's legacy and copyright affairs. However, this decision also brought her new challenges and controversies. During the preparation of The Legend of Bruce Lee, she had in-depth communication with the director for three years and jointly agreed on dozens of regulations, which eventually enabled the film to start smoothly. Shannon Lee served as the producer of the drama, hoping to protect her father's image in this way. However, during the preparation of Bruce Lee My Brother, Shannon Lee had a conflict with her uncle Lee's Hen Hu. When Lee's Hen Hu was hired as a consultant for the film, Shannon Lee sent a copyright infringement warning to the production company. This move not only affected the box office of the film, but also exacerbated the tension between her and her uncle. These controversies have led to a split in the public's opinion of Shannon Lee. Some people believe that she is working hard to protect Bruce Lee's image and legacy out of respect for her father. However, others question whether she is using her father's reputation to promote her own career, and even think that she is suspected of touching porcelain. Shannon Lee, who is now over 50, still persists in her efforts to fight for her father's copyright rights. Shannon Lee's story shows the unique dilemma faced by the descendants of celebrities. Not only did she have to deal with the high attention and expectations of the public, but she also had to work hard to realize her own value. In the process, she was inevitably involved in controversy and questioning. Shannon Lee's experience tells us that surviving under the halo of her father is not easy, and the process of finding oneself and getting rid of the shadow is often full of hardships and challenges. Nearly half a century has passed, and Bruce Lee has passed away, but his influence still exists. Behind this kung fu legend is the joys and sorrows of a family. His wife Linda experienced the pain of losing her husband and the betrayal of her marriage, and finally found peace in her third marriage. His son Brandon Lee unfortunately died at the moment of his flourishing career, leaving countless regrets. His daughter Shannon Lee struggled hard under the shadow of her father to find her own life position. The experience of Bruce Lee's family seems to verify the ruthlessness of the world of fame and fortune. It reveals to us that although success and fame are important, family happiness and harmony are more precious. The realization of family happiness and inner peace often requires a heavy price as a prerequisite. Perhaps it is time for Shannon Lee to say goodbye to her father's halo and explore her own life path. After all, if Bruce Lee were alive, his greatest wish might be to see his daughter live a happy and carefree life. The experience of Bruce Lee's family gives us the inspiration that in the pursuit of professional success, we should not ignore the importance of family. True success should be the harmonious unity of career and family, that is, while realizing self-worth, we can also ensure the happiness and well-being of our loved ones. This may be the most precious legacy Bruce Lee left us. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 